Bible says in Psalm chapter 14 that the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And, and what the Bible is telling us is that, you know, you're a moron if you reject God. If, if you deny the existence of God, the Bible says you're an idiot. You're a fool. And that may not sound politically correct to people, but that's the way God says it. God says in his word, you're a fool if you despise the truth, if you reject the fact that God is there and that God is real and that he is the creator of this universe, you're a fool. And the Bible even tells us that, you know, there is a creator God. There is intelligent design. When you look at the way things work and the way things are designed, you know there had to be a creator behind it. And so God says you're a fool. And uh, what I want to talk about is the fact that this guy, Richard Dawkins. Now, if you guys know who he is, he's one of the world's most popular atheists in the world today. Richard Dawkins recently uh, is being canceled, uh, if you haven't been hearing. Uh, people are attacking him. People are, are putting him on the spot because he says uh, there's only two genders. And, and he said it very publicly. He says, you know, as a biologist, I believe there's only two genders, two sexes, he said, male and female. Now, he is right about that. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. I believe what the Bible says. It says there's only male and female. There's nothing else, okay? Uh, you know, we're all assigned our gender at birth, and common sense tells you if you're born with male parts, you're a male, you're a man. If you're born with female parts, you're a female, you're a woman. That's common sense. This is biology, this is science, and this is the Bible. For the most part, that's what God said. God said that he created male and female, and that's it. You cannot come up with more than one gender there's only two genders and so he says that he made it public and uh he begins to get attacked for it and now people are canceling him i think uh one radio show in california or something i think it was berkeley california uh a radio show there canceled him for what he said and his remarks and all this and that now a lot of conservatives will say you know he's a hero and and he's awesome for doing this and that for speaking out and you know for calling out transgenderism and all this and that Here's the thing. To me, he's not a hero. He's still an idiot. I don't care what anybody says. He's an idiot. He is a fool. In fact, the Bible calls him a reprobate. And I'm going to tell you what the Bible means when it says that uh, he's a reprobate. In Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 26 says, you know, there are people that whose, whose hearts are darkened. And the Bible says they're given over to a reprobate mind to do that which is inconvenient. Things that are not common, things that are unnatural, things that are not normal. You know, a reprobate is somebody that rejects God. He's a hater of God. He or she is a hater of God. They've been given over to a reprobate mind, which means rejected. Why are they rejected of God? Because they rejected the gospel so many times. They didn't want God, despite how many times God revealed himself to them. They wanted nothing to do with the Lord. And so God comes to a point where he says, okay, you want to reject my son? You don't want to get saved? You don't want to become born again? Okay, you despise me? Guess what? I'm going to darken your heart. I'm going to shut your eyes and I'm going to give you over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are inconvenient. And when a person becomes reprobate, they begin to do things that are unnatural, things that are not normal. Why? Because their conscience is seared. Okay, They can't know right from wrong anymore. It's a whole other subject in itself. But that's what Richard Dawkins is. He is a reprobate because he rejects Christ. And he has made it very clear that he hates God. He says God is misogynistic. He says God is a is a warmonger, a killer. He says God is racist. He says the most evil things about God. And it doesn't surprise me that a guy like this is constantly going on a rampage trying to, quote unquote, disprove the God of the Bible, which he can't because no one has ever disproved God. God is real. And so he's constantly on the move with that. It shows that he he believes there's a God. If he's constantly trying to disprove the Lord, it's because he knows in his heart there is a God. He just doesn't want to receive God. And so he is a reprobate. He hates the Lord. And, and it's not even just that. Look, he's doomed because the Bible says in Matthew 12, 22 to 32, those verses, which is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you're done. That's the unpardonable sin. You can't be forgiven. If you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, you're done. That's it. You're finished. That's a sin that can never be forgiven, Christ said. And so that's what he did because he actually did a blasphemy challenge a long time ago. Probably when I was in high school. I think probably around, I'd say 2009, 2010. I can't remember much. But he got a whole bunch of young guys to go on YouTube to partake in the blasphemy challenge. And they blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. And that's why, you know, these people, they're going to hell. They're reprobates. And that's the problem with Richard Dawkins. He's a reprobate. He's unforgiven. 
the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, that's a sin that cannot be atoned for, cannot be forgiven. He's done with. And mind you, this is the guy who has lost his mind. He is insane. This is a guy who says cannibalism uh, should be accepted into our society because of our meat culture or something. He said that on Twitter years ago. And then he talks about, you know, mild pedophilia is okay. It's not as bad as, as uh, uh, pedophilia in general. That's just weird. There's no such thing as mild pedophilia. Okay, it's all, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's a disgusting sin. How can you sit there and act like a guy touching a kid inappropriately is mild pedophilia? That's just disgusting. That's violation. That's rape. That's disgusting. It should not even be considered mild. And the Bible says that pedophiles should be put to death. All right. So he has lost his mind. And it just shows you that he's reprobate. Because when you are reprobate, your conscience is seared. You can't think straight. You can't uh, know right from wrong when something like that happens. So this man, I don't care what anybody says. He's not a hero. He's a zero. He hates God. He's an idiot. He's a fool. And he's reprobate. And if you're following this guy, it's time for you to believe on the gospel and be saved. It's time for you to believe in the God of the Bible, believe in Jesus Christ, and get born again. Because this man will lead you in a dark path. God bless you all and have a good night.